Today we're making bagels, and by that I mean proper bagels, ones that are sweet, slightly chewy, and have that beautiful shiny golden crust that you just want to bite into. Now here's how you do it. We're going to begin by making the dough, and to do that we need to place 500 grams of strong white bread flour into a bowl, with 5 grams of dried yeast, 10 grams of fine sea salt, 250 ml of warm water, 20 grams of caster sugar, and 50 ml of vegetable oil. We're going to mix that until it forms a dough. We're then going to turn the dough out onto a clean workbench and begin kneading. Now that's just moving the dough around, stretching it and pulling it until it's elastic and smooth. Now a great way to knead is to take the palm of your hand there and to hold down with your fingers at this end and then just push out until it's fully stretched, roll it all the way back, turn it and keep repeating until it's nice and smooth. This can take anywhere between five and 10 minutes depending on your own ability. We'll then shape that into a ball and place it into an oiled bowl and cover it with a damp cloth. We'll leave that to prove until it's doubled in size. Once the dough's doubled in size, we're gonna knock out any of the excess air and then we'll divide that into 12 equal size pieces. And then with those 12 pieces, we'll roll them out into 15 centimeter long sausage shapes. Here's a quick tip. If when you're rolling them out, they don't feel like they're stretching out as far as they should and they just kind of pull back in, then just get them part way and leave them to rest on the bench just for about one or two minutes. After that, you'll find that you can just take it that little bit further and it'll stretch out. You'll then wet the ends of the dough and press them together to form a ring. Lay them onto an oiled baking sheet and then we'll cover them with a damp cloth until they've doubled in size one more time. Next, preheat the oven to 200 degrees centigrade and place a large wide pan of boiling water that's roughly around 10 centimeters deep onto the stove and bring to the boil. Once the bagels have doubled in size, it's time to poach them. So we'll turn that pan down to a simmer and then we'll have to do this in batches because you don't want to overcrowd the pan. If you do that, they'll stick together and you'll just end up with a sticky, doughy mess. You don't want that. So we'll do two to three at a time. And all you're gonna do is gently place them into the water and cook them for one minute on each side. And then we'll remove them and place them onto a tea towel to drain. Once we've poached all of the bagels for one minute on each side, we'll place them onto an oiled baking sheet. We don't want to overcrowd the sheet because we don't want them to stick together. So leave a good amount of space, roughly two to three inches between each one. And then we're going to glaze the bagels with a beaten egg. We're just going to brush lightly on the surface until they're fully coated. And then this is up to you. You can sprinkle with any seeds of your choice or you can leave them plain. You could even maybe put a little bit of oatmeal on there or some poppy seeds. I'm going to do some poppy seeds. We're then going to bake them in the preheated oven for 15 minutes until glossy and golden brown. Once baked, remove them from the oven and place onto a cooling rack to cool before you enjoy them. So there we go, homemade bagels, as easy as that. Now, if you wanna follow the recipe and give them a try for yourself at home, you'll find the full written recipe in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.